And thank you everyone for joining me. I'm Eric Tolman, and this is a continuing coverage of our winter storm. This is actually our forecast uh, models for the weekend. It's going to be a busy one. And uh, as you can see on uh, GFS models are telling us that we do have a storm system that's going to be coming. And once it starts moving in here, it's going to be a mess. As you can see, uh, there's actually uh, snow that's uh, going to start to creep in here uh, coming from the west. And then we've got all this other uh, snow that's going to start moving in. So it's really going to start to expand and it's going to really expand into coverage here. Uh, when I actually uh, turn the pages over here. So this is basically a GFS uh, forecast model for the weekend since that it's going to be uh, an active uh, setup. And then after that, uh, my other focus will be on snow potentials. And then we will talk about the uh, next impacts or potential snow storms. We will discuss that later this afternoon at 3 345, 4 o'clock this afternoon, for sure. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Please remember to please subscribe, like, comment. And if you like my comments, please give me a, a thumbs up as well. Uh, I will be right back with the rest of our forecast uh, models. We'll be right back with more. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, once again, you can see that the uh, storm itself is really impacting. There's actually a lot of uh, widespread uh, snow uh, that's actually going to be an impact that is going to be a concern, but also at the same time, we're going to also have that freezing rain potential as well that you can see that's way over to the west over by Chicago, Illinois, and um, Lake Michigan, and then right below that, to the south of that, it's actually uh, rain. So we have the snow rain mix, but I'm going to tell you how much more interesting it's going to get. So it would not be too surprising um, for a winter weather advisory. I don't know that at this time that hasn't been uh issued yet so it's just a heads up um clearly thinking about it uh because when you're dealing with uh uh winter severe weather or any kind of uh, severe weather setup you know sometimes i like to also add that in there just as a heads up so uh we will get uh some stuff out of this but um we will also check on the snow uh accumulations as well so you can see it's really expanding uh, and making its move. I'm going to let you know how active it's going to get for your Sunday as well. So this is actually Saturdays. Um, I'm not quite through yet, so stay tuned. And I will give you the rest of the models for this weekend, and I'll have another look at this forecast and the rest of the models later on this afternoon between uh, 3 p.m. and 3.45. Stay tuned. I've got more. Coming up, please remember to please subscribe, like, comment, and if you like my comment, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll be right back with the rest of our uh, winter weather coverage for 2020. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I'm Eric Tolman. Uh, basically, there's going to be freezing rain um, over in uh, southeast Michigan. There will be uh, freezing rain. So if you live over in uh, like uh, Oakland County, Macomb County, St. Clair County, uh, Wayne County, and I think maybe Runaway or some other county, I have to go back and look at it. But uh, wherever you can see the pink right there is where the best uh, chances for uh, freezing rain potential is going to be at. We'll kind of keep an eye on that. That's another uh, concern that I'm mostly concerned about, which means that we're going to have some very, very uh, icy conditions with that. 
that will also be in favor. So that's another uh, thing that will be approaching uh, Michigan as well. And especially over in uh, western Michigan, they're also going to be dealing with the freezing rain uh, potential as well, as long as the rain. So it's a very, very nasty uh, setup that we have going on. So I just also wanted to tell you that there uh, is the possibility that maybe we will have a winter weather advisory out of all of this. When the storm system gets closer, I'll be able to update you more on that. But uh, normally when you're dealing with uh, winter uh, severe weather, that's normally the case. Um, usually it's a winter weather advisory, a winter storm warning watch, uh, depending on what uh, situation we're dealing with. So uh, stay tuned. I've got more on this uh, very messy uh, impact for our weekend. Uh, so if you have to do any grocery shopping or anything like that, uh, this, uh, actually, to be honest with you, today would be the best day to go out and do your errands, grocery shopping, that kind of stuff, because uh, I know what some people are going to try and adventure out in this stuff, but if you can avoid that, try and get out there today and get some of your groceries um, while you can, while the roads are in better condition, because by the time this system starts rolling in here, the uh, road conditions are going to be a lot slower than usual and uh, and all that. So uh, stay tuned. I've got more coming up to wrap up this forecast. And thank you so much for joining me once again. I'm Eric Tallman. I basically, I had uh, told you in the beginning of our uh, forecast that I was very concerned about the freezing rain potential. And I am concerned about the freezing rain potential because it is getting to be more of a widespread uh, type of thing. You can just see uh, a good range of it across uh, Michigan. And uh, even though that um, some of us may not be seeing the freezing rain, there's going to be a big uh, expansion of that. Uh, so that's going to be in favor. Then we've got the rain behind that. So uh, the snow rain mix continues, but it seems like the widespread uh, chances for freezing rain uh, look to be an impact. So if you're going to be traveling, that is going to be a problem. And that's the reason why I had um, suggested that today would probably be the bestest day to get out there and uh, get your groceries, your errands, that type of thing, because uh, traveling is really going to be an impact and it's going to really slow you down uh, tomorrow, especially with the freezing rain and the icy conditions that will be setting up here for the weekend. Stay tuned. I've got more coverage coming up right after this. And please remember to please, uh, please subscribe, like, comment. And if you like my comment, please leave me a comment. And uh, I'll be right back right after this. And thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I did tell you that uh, now, as this thing continues to move its track here, you can see that there's more of an expansion of snow, widespread snow, uh, continues for uh, Michigan, northern Michigan. And then you can see in the whole entire viewing area in this forecast model right now, um, it does say uh, for our Sunday, uh, it's going to be quite tricky. So for all of us in southeast Michigan, unfortunately, uh, freezing rain is not out of the question. So uh, that's why I'm saying uh, errands and all that stuff probably would be a better uh, greatest possibility to do that today because there's going to be some very icy uh, conditions setting up and then with the snow and all that. But with the freezing rain, that's going to be just enough to freeze up the roads and stuff and turn it into ice and all that other uh, stuff. So uh, we've got uh, uh, a big uh, setup going on. So 
Uh, please stay tuned for the very latest, and I'll keep you guys up to date on this uh, storm potential. Uh, I will uh, see you guys later. Please stay tuned for the very latest forecast and uh, winter weather uh, coverage and impacts and travel conditions and all of that. I most definitely will have maybe a couple of updates on the traffic uh, reports. I might add that in there as well due to the fact that we'll be dealing with a snow rain mix uh, deal setup that's going to be going on here. I'm going to look to see if there's anything else uh, for this forecast. But I'm going to tell you, it's not looking all that good for uh, Southeast Michigan at all, or all of Michigan. Uh, you can see no matter uh, from left to right, uh, we're going to get something out of this. So the freezing uh, rain potential is a concern. I'm going to continue to uh, forecast this model, continue to um, update you guys on it and everything else. So please stay tuned for the very latest uh, on this potential. And then I'll talk about some other uh, greater potentials for uh, snow storms. So I will see you guys again at 345 for more full uh, coverage on this winter weather coverage for 2020. This is Eric Tallman. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please remember to please subscribe, like, comment. And if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up as well. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me.